Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be our early summer random haul. Like you guys know, I always do random haul. They're never like on time. Like you know how people have spring haul, summer haul, winter haul, no. So this is a haul. I'm gonna be hauling some, a few beauty products, a few clothing items, early spring clothing items, and some accessories. Okay, got <clears throat> okay guys, so the first things I'm going to haul are my beauty items that I bought. I went to Rite Aid, they had a sale on Wet n Wild products. Everything that was originally priced $1.99 was, was $1.29. I just got one lipstick. And um, L'Oreal things were 40% off. And some other brands was 40% off. So the first thing I bought, I already took it out the packaging, is L'Oreal Infallible La L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner in the color Black is Black. Now, I'll put a picture of the, the packaging, how it came here. It came with a brush, but that brush sucks for liner. sucks. It's good for lip lining. I mean, not lip lining, but lipstick, period. But for, for his eyeliner, it sucks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this, this is my favorite drugstore gel liner, like, I like, I like it better than any other liner I've tried from the drugstore. I haven't tried any high-end liners, but I really do want the Inglot number 77 liner because everybody said it's great. It's even better than Max Black Track. So, got to try that soon. But here's the liner. Here's how it looks. I'll see if I can swatch it for you guys. Put it on my hand. It lasts all day. It like doesn't change weird colors. And my favorite gel liner. Now my favorite liquid liner. That's another video. <laughs> but yes, I bought that. It was 40% also. It came up to $6, I believe. It was originally $9.99. The next beauty item I bought was Wet n Wild's Matte Lipstick in 902C Bare It All. Now, everybody in the beauty community has been talking about how this is the best nude for, like, women of color. The best cheap nude for women of color. It's It was originally $1.99, so I got it on sale for $1.29. And I've already used it, but here's the color. I'll do a swatch on my hand. Now, you know these lipsticks are the bomb.com. <laughs> bomb.com. So, I'm so happy I bought it. I have it on now. I've been wearing it since I got it yesterday, so love this lipstick. That's all I got from writing. My next beauty items came from the beauty supply store. I bought an espresso colored liner. This one is by LA Girl. And I line my lips with it. It's an eyeliner, but I use it for a lip liner. And um, I bought it specifically for my brows. Because I was running out of the brow liner that I usually use. So I brought this one. And here's the swatch. And yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. It was only a dollar. Pretty good. And, um... I also bought two pairs of lashes. Now, if you guys know, you know that I'm not really a lash girl for many reasons. Number one, they never go on right because my natural lashes are so long and they're and curly, so they're always in the freaking way number two I don't have time or money to waste on new lashes and yeah and for as for me being an MUA um when my I just buy new lashes when I go to do my clients makeup so yeah I bought the I do want, but some days I do want to I do feel lashy so I bought these lashes to use I bought some Ardell Wispies I feel like the only lashes that do work on me are Wispies so these were $2.99 and um, yeah, regular Ardell Wispies, and I bought Absolute New York Invisible Clear Band lashes. They don't have a name. The item number is AEL20, and they're like they're just like the Wispies. So yeah, these were $1.99. This was $2.99. So if I I'm gonna try these first. If I love them, I'm gonna go back and get like three more pair. Yeah, these are the Wispies. If you wanna see, I have a tutorial on how to put on lashes. I'll put it down below. Go check that out. And um, yeah, for I'm gonna go to my clothing items next. I bought three articles of clothing. 
if you guys seen the new trends that's coming out, the um, what do you call it, acid wash sort of jeggings joggers, they're kind of popular now. So I've been looking for a pair of a reasonable, pr reasonably priced pair of joggers because all these boutiques, online Instagram boutiques, they're crazy. They are crazy, charging hyped up prices for stuff that they paid pennies for. Anyway, that's a different video, but um, I went to the store. The name of it was Deco, I think. Deco. If you live in Brooklyn, East New York area, Picking Avenue. Yeah, I went to. It's called Deco, I think. Yeah, and I bought these acid wash joggers. They were $19.99. They have a stretch band. And yeah, this is the print on them. And they like go all the way down to my ankle. I thought they were going to be like capris or cropped a little bit. But no, they go all the way down to my ankle. And yeah, this is the print. They're very comfy. I'm going to show you a picture of me trying them on now. They're so freaking comfy. They make my butt look great because I have none. And I know the perfect outfit I'm going to wear with it. So the perfect top and shoes. So look out for that outfit of the day video. $19.99. Also, you know how sometimes they have, when you go to like shopping areas and shopping malls, they always have those weird stores that you would never go into. Like, why would I buy something from them? I decided to go in one of those. And then, so it was owned by like these Indian people. And I really like heron pants. And I've been searching, searching, searching for a cheetah print heron pants that fits me perfectly. So I went to the store. Well, outside on the mannequin, there was a pair of heron pants. So that's another thing that drew me into the store. I was like, oh my God, let me go check it out. Went to the store and they had cheetah print hair pants. I was like, you lying. And they only had them for $15. So I went and tried it on. It fit. Didn't give me that great of a butt. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But they still were gorgeous. I'm going to show you guys now. Here are the pants. They probably don't look like much here. But I'm telling you guys, they're great. They're made out of this. I don't know what type of material it is. This is not chiffon. It's a little bit thicker than chiffon, but it's so that very thin and airy material. And I feel like this, like the print is, you know, different. And I love it. I love it. It has, oh, it doesn't have pockets. It has a drawstring. And it's one of those one size fits all type things. But it's like the plus size, one size fits all. And I have it backwards. <laughs> Let me change it for you guys. And so they're tight at the end of your ankle and they have like these buttons on the end. I love them because they're like authentic Indian heron pants. So I really love it. And those were $15. I'll put a picture of me trying it on now. And also another thing I saw from that store, I've been searching for like a caftan, like a chiffon see-through caftan to wear like to the beach. But um, they didn't really have that. But I saw this caftan that a lot of people probably wouldn't wear on a regular day. But, you know, I got to be different. So I saw this this blue ostrich feather print caftan. And it was only $10. And I was like, I have to get it. It was It's so cute, different. And, um, yeah, here it is. If you guys can see the detailing, the gold detailing, that is just amazing. Like, it looks so good on. Like, look at this, de look at the details. I love it so, so, so much. And I'm going to wear it outside. And look at the arm. This is where the arms go. I'm going to wear it outside on an easy, breezy, beautiful day. And I'm going to be beautiful. I'll put a picture of me trying it on now. And that's all I got for clothing. <clears throat> Lastly, I'm going to show you guys the accessories that I got. Now, on also on Picking Avenue, if you are in the New York, Brooklyn area, they have this accessory stand that everything's a dollar, no matter what it is, it's a dollar. And I picked up a lot of accessories from there. Well, not a lot, but you know, a few. First, I got these earrings. I stopped really wearing like studs and earrings because I had got some diamond earrings that my mother bought me, but I unfortunately lost one, so my fault. So now I gotta start buying fake studs now. <laughs> so I got these studs, gorge. I got these studs right here. Gorge also, mind you, everything one dollar. Yes, it is. I 
I got this necklace. I feel like it's so dainty, but it still adds that right pop of texture to your outfit. So this gorgeous sort of wooden beaded necklace. I got this pretty, pretty, pretty gold chain that says happy on it. You know, everybody, I'm happy. So I thought it was such a perfect time to get something like this. And it just looks so cute on. Mind you, only a dollar. I was going to get two because I know this is going to turn, like, it's going to turn colors. But... I'm going to paint it with clear nail polish and all that good stuff so it won't turn. I got this ring. I thought it was so cute and different. Like, look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I got this ring. Look at the vibrance, vibrancy of those stones. A dollar for a dollar. I got this ring. Look at the 3D detailing. Any other store, this would ring would have cost you like five dollars. I got this ring. And lastly, but definitely not least, I got this ring. Also for my cosmetics, I um I was using Toffee LA Girl concealer to highlight under my eyes my forehead all that good stuff but i figured i felt like i don't know i needed a brighter concealer to really make my highlight pop you know so i got it in the color fawn you guys know about the la hd pro conceal only 1.99 and um, i'm gonna swatch it on my hand Okay, so that's fine. It has that great yellow undertone. I just love it. So yeah, that's the concealer I got. Okay, guys, that's the end of my haul. I hope you guys loved it. And I hope you guys check out my video on my new hair, you know? But yeah, that's the end of my haul. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell me, guys, what was your favorite piece in the comments down below?